In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why you're not making any money, why your business is not making money, and why you can't make money online. If you're really smart, you're really fast, you understand the internet, you're looking at a six to 24 month window before your business makes enough money for you to live. That's where we're going. You know, anyone can start today and make five dollars a day. You start online today, you made five bucks, you made money online. That's not what you want. You want to make enough money where you can actually pay real bills, mortgage, car payments, or better yet, pay your house in full, buy your car cash, have no debt. You want to make that kind of money online, not just pennies and nickels and, and quarters. You want to make long dollar style. So you're gonna have to have better expectations. Now, once again, six months to 24 months, if you understand the web and you're pretty fast, you're pretty smart. Realistically speaking, the average person is looking at a three to five year journey. Hey, this is Glennon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to go below and get into some of those first few links to get your free 19 business courses. These courses will help you learn how to start a business. They'll help you learn how to manage money. They'll help you learn how to fix your credit. They'll help you learn how to market on Craigslist. And it's all free. I do ask that you recommend two to three people to the channel. And if, if once again, if, if you find value in the content, I ask that you pay what you want. So with that, let's jump into this video. Number one. The number one reason that you cannot make money online is you hate tech. One of the biggest conversations online often is team Android, team iPhone. I'm not gonna pay that much money for this. I'm not gonna get a tablet, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna get this cheap ass Chromebook, right? When you invest in tech and you learn all of the features you learn about groups, you learn about apps, you learn about so many things that can help your business. But when you hate tech or you think investing in tech is ridiculous, you limit yourself to a certain aptitude of online experiences. And I'll give you an example. There's an app called Kick, K-I-K, -K, right? Now, what's, it's been around for a while and it's predominantly used by younger folks. Well, this is how people on Instagram who want to do business with each other communicate. Once again, if you hate tech, if you're avoiding tech, if you, you're, you're trying to do all of this stuff without investing in tech, you are limiting yourself, you're limiting your income. The second reason that you cannot make money online is you're trying to do everything from your phone big conversation especially in the YouTube space you have a lot of people who want to shoot their video on their phone who want to put together all of their editing on their phone upload it on their phone all right I am a full-time youtuber going on my eighth year I have two iMacs MacBook Pro this GoPro Hero iPhone cameras, the Canon 70D. As I invested in my tech and got away from trying to do everything as cheap as possible, and I'll admit for two years I was doing it, and it limited me. I want you to hear me. I don't care what anyone says. If you invest in the best tech equipment and get away from your phone early, you will see huge dividends in your income and the uh, scaling of your business huge uh, in the beauty vlogger space everyone goes to a DSLR why because the top level women doing um, beauty vlogging that's what they have that's the floor that's not the ceiling that's the floor you can get in the game with maybe a $200 body and a three to five hundred dollar lens this, you, you cannot do this all on your phone. I've seen people, I've seen the fantasy, and let that go. Just, just let it go, just let it go. Third reason that you don't make money online is you do not understand the internet. 
see this is what I'm this is what I mean there are many people who think the internet is an extension to the physical world the internet is its own world its own ecosystem its own domain its own set of rules there's so many things that are very different about an online business than a physical business I was in a group and someone was thinking about opening up a yoga studio and they never and I was like hey have you ever had a physical business before and they were like no and I said like, don't do it because they were trying to buy this person's client list but the person wasn't making any profits uh, there was a rent was like five thousand a month there, there was so many things that were just wrong with that business model this is the reason that some people kill it online because they understand the, inter the internet they understand the web they understand apps they understand social media yet these same people if they were hard pressed to go out and start a physical business would struggle on the other side of the coin there are people who are crushing it in the physical world and was in struggle online you've got kids pitching social media management services to executives making a million or two million a year now they're making a million or two million a year because they're crushing it in the physical world and they don't understand the online world so you, you've got that dichotomy that's going on and a lot of people are just not really understanding it the world is moving toward the web but the world is not there yet fourth reason that you cannot make money online or you can't make money with your business is pretty much a big one it should have been number one but we're just going around unrealistic expectations I was having a conversation with a client this morning about the trajectory of his business how much time in real it's gonna take months to get us where we want to go with this business months not weeks not days but months and he's paying me a pretty penny most of you jump into this stuff with the expectation that because a unicorn or a old internet tale or someone who did really really well really really fast and you think that you can duplicate that is foolish and stupid and it holds you back because you're looking for that secret ingredient well yo where's that secret ingredient hey show me the secret handshake so I can get into the internet money club right and you're wasting precious time and you are burning resources based on bullshit unrealistic expectations here's some numbers for you if you're really smart you're really fast you understand the internet you're looking at a 6 to 24 month window before your business makes enough money for you to live that's where we're going you know anyone can start today and make five dollars a day you start online today you made five bucks you made money online that's not what you want you want to make enough money where you can actually pay real bills mortgage car payments or Better yet, pay your house in full, buy your car cash, have no debt. You want to make that kind of money online, not just pennies and nickels and, and quarters. You want to make long dollar style. So you're going to have to have better expectations. Now, once again, six months to 24 months, if you understand the web and you're pretty fast, you're pretty smart. Realistically speaking, the average person is looking at a three to five year journey. The fifth reason you're not making money online and you don't know how to make money. Everything is a scam. Yes, everything's a scam. Everybody's out to get you. Everyone's to rip you off. You spend so much of your time protecting yourself as a buyer when you try to switch to the other side. You don't know how to do it because you're in buyer mode just like people who are making the transition from employee to employer or self-employed it's a journey mentally so you got all of these self-protection tools you go googling people and looking and researching and reviewing and spend hours and hours and hours and hours trying to make sure that you don't lose money when in fact all of those hours that you invested trying not to lose money, you lost more money than you ever know because you're so far behind. Everything is not a scam. And this is one of the ways that you can learn if something's valid or not. Get in the game. I routinely hear things that I know to be factually not true from internet marketers. Why? because I'm in the game I'm out here on the playing field 
that's like somebody trying to tell you uh, how to lift 500 pounds on the squat or 600 pounds on a deadlift, yet they've never done it. And they're going to like, well, when you do this and do that, no, 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 no. I do that every Wednesday. This is how you do it. So getting in the game and getting past your fears and getting past your scared little bitch syndrome is going to give you more information to truly vet out scams versus all of these reviews. Everything. I mean, seriously, it, it's just you got to get past that because how can you benefit and make money from something you don't believe in? If you think everything online is a scam and you're trying to create an online business, subconsciously you're holding yourself back because you don't want to do something that you don't think is up and on the up and up. Kind of crazy when you think about it, but essentially you screw yourself when you make the switch. And this is a biggie. Another reason that you don't make money online is you hate email. You're one of those people that lose your fucking mind when you get an email. Now, me, I am on everyone's email list. I am on Ramit Seti's email list. I'm on Derek Halpern's email list. I am probably on about 80 damn email lists. Now, this is the thing. If you get on a bunch of email lists, you begin to see trends of who is copying and pasting from other people's email list. You learn how to market. You learn how to write email by being on everyone's emails list and going through the emails. You learn how to do something that makes money online. If you're one of those people who are trying to make money online and you get on someone's list and get the free offer, then immediately unsubscribe. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. But you are missing so much because I'm not going to tell you whose list I'm on, but this one list and I get an email damn near every day. I've learned so much by just being on that list. So much. It's crazy how much I have learned from being on that list. So if you want to be an internet marketer, if you want to learn how to sell stuff online and you don't want to meet people, you need to learn how email works. You need to get on everybody's list, just not just mine, but everyone's list, so you can see different formats, methodology of how people market online. And sometimes it's those brand new guys who have some of the best information. The eighth reason that you're not making money online is you hate marketing. You're one of those people who thinks that people who advertise don't know what they're doing. I'm going to give you a stat, and this is kind of an overlap on the last principle. It will seem very contrary to popular opinion or from people who don't do it that sending less emails will make you more money. I have numbers and proof that that is false. I have sent more emails. I have sent two and three and four emails in one day and have made three times as much money when I was sending emails once a week. Now, part of marketing is learning what works and what doesn't. When you go operate from a technician level, you're gonna know stuff that people who are operating at a um, casual level will not know because I, I, it's, it's, it's amazing. It is literally amazing how this stuff really works when you really do it and you look at the raw numbers. Now, if you wanna make money online, you must market. You must get traffic and you've got three forms of traffic, organic, paid, and influencer. There is no other traffic. That's it. Those are the only three forms of traffic you can get to your website or your internet assets. Paid, influencer, or organic. And you gotta learn how to get an influencer to say, hey, check this dude out. Or you gotta pay, or you gotta roll up your sleeves and build something that people want to read and consume online. And organic, straight up, is gonna take more time. It's gonna take a lot more work, but 
it's more durable. This YouTube channel. My first 12 months, I got 59,000 views. My first 12 months. It took me three years to get to maybe 10,000 subscribers. 10 years total. And I think I got to 2 million views at that point. And then it just started to scale. Now I'll tell you this, not to brag so you don't lose all of your little minds and stuff, but I can get 54 views in three days now. This is seven years later. Let me put that disclaimer in. This is seven years later. So I believe in paid traffic and I believe in organic traffic. And I think you have to work very hard on both of them because you ain't selling shit if you don't get attention. And if you don't have a traffic, you're not getting attention. It's just that damn simple. So you're gonna pay for it, you're gonna build it, or you're going to co have someone co-sign on your stuff. So you've got to get into the marketing game. You've gotta learn how it works, you gotta read books, you gotta to put together a website and test. And I'm gonna tell you, even if you're paying, it's still gonna be slow in the beginning. And I'm talking about it may take you literally 90 days of paid traffic or longer to figure out your rhythms, which means you're going to be spending money for 90 days, maybe not a lot, maybe five, 10 bucks a day, which for some people might be a lot of money just to figure out how your thing is working. You got to do it or you got to pay someone to do it or you're just not going to make it today. You're just not, just not. I'm being real with you. The ninth reason that you're not making money on, you're lazy. If, you know, this is kind of a, an uh, agglomination of all these other reasons. It takes effort, time, and attention to make money online. And sometimes you're gonna have to put, burn the midnight oil. You're gonna have to burn the early morning oil. You can't do this and be lazy. And lazy is not reading emails. Not mine, anyone's. Because like I said, there's some people you can get on their email list and you can learn a lot about internet marketing. Another thing that you have to do is wake up and set a schedule for learning. There, Everything online changes. So knowing that, you must have a set time to learn new stuff. Be it once a week, every two weeks a minimum once a month minimum once a month that you set aside time to learn some new stuff minimum you can't be lazy you can't hold you you just can't you can't do that you really really have got to put yourself in the position of being a student in the position of being a craftsman in the position of being a tech a technician now the student, you're learning. Uh, the technician, you're doing. The craftsman, you're turning it into an art. Um, like my thumbnails. It has taken me three damn years to get this thing, the theme that I wanted. Because if you look at, go back and look, you'll see earlier videos. I was doing it, but it just didn't look. Now I've got it. It's like, this is the Hustlers Kung Fu theme. This is the look, this is the feel, this is what we're doing. Because I'm building a brand took me three years so you got to get in here start playing around tinkering with stuff so you can figure out what works for you and your brand that you can't make money online is hope is your business plan hope there are some people who build a website and hope people show up there are people who build YouTube channels and hope people watch. And there are people who create products and services and they hope people show up. We live in a very noisy world. There's a lot that's going on. You're competing with every little meme, a uh, little video. You're competing with all of this stuff for attention online. So hope is a very bad business strategy 
in terms of getting engagement. You 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 got to roll up your sleeves. You've got to use something tactically proven to work, especially in the beginning. Like here's a tip for you. If you're starting a brand new YouTube channel, your first 30 videos should be searchable videos. It should be something that people are looking for. Minimum first 30. Not like, "Hey, I just had a biscuit today." That shit only works when you got, you know, 100,000, 300, 400,000 subscribers and people are invested in who you are and they care about that shit. But if you're just starting off, they don't care about you because they don't know you. So you're going to have to go ahead and invest in searchable content that's very tasty. Now, you're going to have to let hope go and you're just going to have to deal with some harsh realities that the ideal the concept that you currently have it may not fly you may have to do something else I frequently and someone put this in the comment this is a new person I have put out I don't know how many times on this channel my first five companies failed I put that out for years I put out that I've tried new things that didn't work I do this all the time but there are some people who want to um, for some reason live in that space versus once again doing their research, doing, you know, watching some videos because typically, and this isn't like a um, promotion, you can watch 20 or 30 videos, you know, some of them are five minutes, some of them are an hour, and really get a good sense of who the fuck I am and what I do. That's it, because uh, one of the reasons, and I'll, I'll give you this, that I don't answer a lot of, you know, what about this question or those type of questions because you're not looking to be convinced of the channel. You're looking to convince or confirm that you think that I'm a fuckery. Straight up, you know, this This is one of the realest channels on YouTube. I, I've been doing this so long, I can tell based upon how the question is couched or, or presented what you're up to. And there's too many folks who really like what's going on here, who really enjoy the content, and I choose to focus on those good people versus those who are in the fuckery parade with a big ass horn and a red nose. And I say all that to say, when you get to know who's coming to your internet property, your asset, you know the language that they're using, you know how they're talking, you get a really good sense of who really is interested in what you have to say and who's just, you know, digitally jacking off. The tenth and most damaging reason that you can't make money online you think you can figure it out now there are a small group of folks who can and most of us can't and I include myself in there because each year I learn some stuff and I'm like damn I gotta do this now because that doesn't work and really that never worked and I have mentors in terms of books I have a few people I talk to and I'm a member of three upper level groups where I get a great deal of information and can bounce ideas off people. I can't do this by myself and I can't figure it out by myself because I put in a previous video, I am what I call functionally stupid. I know enough to be dangerous, but I know there's things I don't know. I know there's more out there. I know there's techniques. I know there's more efficient ways of doing things, which is why I'm in a perpetual mode of self-study. You cannot figure this shit out in 2016. Maybe Internet 1.0, when no one knew what was up and there were no rules. and the, Yeah, okay, Internet 2.0, but shit, what are we? Internet 5.0, this is a different animal. And if you want to spend the next um, five, six years figuring it out while someone who went ahead and got a mentor or realized that they were functionally stupid and went ahead and built you know a two three four five six seven million dollar company in the same time that you were figuring it out knock yourself out all right so hopefully this list helps you of things that you need to correct so you can start making money online because until you fix these things until you change your mindset till you start really really looking at how people make money online from a realistic standpoint not all that stuff that you wish was true you're going to continue to struggle and things are not going to change nor will they get better it just won't so if you like the content of this video 
and you should do a few things go below and get the free courses hustlers kung fu life skills.com then if you know you like the content and stuff you should refer two people to the platform which is hustlers kung fu youtube channel and hustlers kung fu life skills.com and if once again if you find value in the content that i'm giving you be sure to pay what you want which is a just you know if you, it's almost like tipping if you want to or contributing or donations whatever all in one just go there and you can put in whatever amount that you want so with that like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video